offensive huddle. Uh, Virginia Tech and Donald Wayne Snell, the wide receiver. Only a sophomore from Radford, Virginia. Virginia Tech this season in their three defeats gave up only 14 points to West Virginia, 26 to Virginia in the 26-23 game, and they lost to Clemson 17-10. Two of those teams went to a ball, and Clemson would have had, of course, they had not uh, been suffering from some sanctions, and they couldn't play. We have a new quarterback for Virginia Tech. Todd Greenwood is in the game now. There's a penalty marker down as the reception is complete to Donald Snell. 16 plays all the way to the touchdown. Snell comes to the near side. It's Becton, the tailback, and Bo is the blocking fullback. Jones steps off the line of scrimmage and is in motion as Cox goes to the near side. That's Snell. Good first down gain on the play, Ken. Doing about what you expected uh, Clemson to be doing. Well, this is the kind of play that has kept Clemson off balance. On first down, just a quick rollout pass. Wide receiver 82, Donald Snell just took three steps, turned, looked for the ball, made the reception, got good yardage after the catch. Second and 20 for 181 yards. Winding down the third period, Virginia Tech three of 10 on third down conversions. Myron Richardson in motion. Chapman retreating. And going long, he's got his man out there. Richardson at the 20 and down to the 10 and down to the 8-yard line. Donald Wayne Snell. Excuse me. Yep. This time, after all afternoon, sending that guy up the sidelines and throwing to the short man underneath, they go deep to Snell, and we've got an injured Kevin Brady down around the 10-yard line. Richardson goes in motion. He again runs the hook route. But Chapman's throwing the home run ball to Donald Wayne Snell. And the big wide receiver hauled it down and very nearly broke it. Kevin Brady makes the tackle and got injured in doing so. They feel they can get the ball back. They're not going to use it. Virginia Tech deep in their own territory won't use them yet. Second down and two. And Chapman will throw. Has time. And he hits his man up across the 40-yard line and up across to the 45-yard line. Donald Wayne Snell, and they should call for time right here. Well, he coughed up the football, but they say his forward progress had already been stopped at the 45-yard line. Again, they send a man deep up the sidelines and then curl a guy underneath the deep coverage. Donald Wayne Snell running the curl route this time. Hokies have it first and 10. Long count for Chapman. He's running. He's throwing it upfield. He's looking, and he's got Snell, and he hangs out of the football, and he's off of the races. He's gone. Touchdown, Virginia Tech. Great play by Snell. Tony Butler was the quarterback who fell down. Snell juggled, held on to the reception, and scores six and gets a high five to boot. That was a great play. Obviously, Tony Butler was in better position to make the interception than Snell was to make the catch, but he went over his back. And what really what set this up was the running play earlier that had been successful because it forced them into man-to-man -man coverage as they brought up the free safety to play the run. There's nobody there after he misses a tackle. And Snell Kenzer. goes all the way. Here's the front end of an 88-yard touchdown scoring pass. Eric Chapman rolling out for the Hokies. The longest one of the season by far. 50 yards was the second, the other longest completion earlier to Snell against Clemson. Well, you can see a bobbling catch, great concentration by Snell, and because of the man-to-man -man coverage that Richmond had used to stop that toss play into the sideline, there's nobody there to make the tackle after Butler missed. There's Snell talking to Morgan Run on the sideline. First and 10 from the Richmond, the 24-yard line. Chapman again rolling. It's a nice block from Maurice Williams. Now throws to the corner. Snell, touchdown! Penalty fly back at the 20-yard line. 
May have been illegal receiver downfield, I mean illegal man downfield on that rollout, and that's what it is. One of the linemen went too far. That's one of the uh, real worries you have about a rollout passer is the longer he holds it, the more the linemen get antsy about going downfield and blocking for him. That time he started to pull it down, then stopped and threw the pass as Snell turned up field. Another great catch by Snell, though. He just threw the ball up in the air, and Snell went up almost like a forward getting a rebound and took the ball away from the smaller defensive back. Not make the catch and keep his foot in bounds. The clock will restart with the snap. Chapman possibly audible in. Rolling again, and this time he completes it, and it's to number 82, Donald Wayne Snell, a senior wide receiver from Radford, Virginia. And Snell out of bounds for a first down inside the 30, actually at the 32, inside the 35, and there are 26 seconds in the half. Don McPherson, the Syracuse quarterback, warming up on the sideline. First and 10, just inside Virginia Tech's 35. And it's complete to David Wayne Snell again, and he's brought down a yard or so short of the first down by Chris Ingram, number 24. But another big gain on first down. We talked about the inexperienced offensive line of, of, of Virginia Tech. They had good pass protection right there that time for Chapman, rolling out to his right. And I think they're trying to play a chess game right now that Syracuse defense, feeling they'll, they'll come out in the second half and try to shut down the running game. Chapman has come out throwing here in the first series. And as you saw, Snell averaging 10 yards a pop on three receptions so far. The Hunter down. If it's not one stallion, it's the other. It's another Virginia. First down that keeps his drive alive for Virginia Tech. Bus Kirk also getting the football loose, but Hunter fell on it. Chapman on first and 10 completes it to David Wayne Snell. And he is out of bounds in Syracuse territory. But there is a penalty flag thrown in the secondary on the opposite side of the field. Donald Wayne Snell, a senior from Radford, Virginia, made the reception. But the officials are conferring, and it may be not a to go. Chapman to throw. And it's complete. Donald Wayne Snell driven out of bounds for a Virginia Tech first down. Tim Pigeon with the hit, number 54. On that play, Chapman now rolling out to his left. They get the containment cut down. You see people coming at the corner. Snell was out there on the sideline, came back to the ball, saw where the, out of, the first down yard marker was, stopped right there, got the first down. That's a big league play. Virginia Tech has done a great job on big yard line. The official right there, two flags, in fact, were thrown on the play. There are two penalties. One is five yards for illegal use of hands, but this is the major 10-yard penalty. Second down, 20 to go. Over the middle and complete. Down near the 20-yard line is Donald Wayne Snell with another big reaction. Terry Wooden, number 90, made the tackle. But Chapman and Snell combine again to overcome adversity. It'll be a first down at the 21. Started off with a great pass protection to begin the game. Here is it, just an in route by Snell coming across the middle. Now he's putting his hands up because he realized he's wide open in the zone. Two wide receivers go deep to stretch out that zone. Snell comes underneath and gets the first down. Now, the offense for Virginia Tech. Donald Wayne Snell is their leading receiver. 41-yard line of NC State, 3-10 to play first quarter. 7-7 Seven -seven score. I don't first down. Here's Chapman. Oh, wide open was Donald Wayne Snell. Tackle made by the cornerback, Derek Taylor, but he had an awful lot of room that time. The reason why that was so successful is the fact that they've been running the ball on first and ten. Watch, he rolls out, and he hits him right on a break. Donald Wayne Snell has got number five, Derek Taylor, backpilling, and number four, Gay, comes in there. But the reason that was such a good play is they've been running, running, running. All of a sudden, you throw the ball on first down and catch him off balance. And it's... Uh enough for the first down yes at the 30 now donald wayne snell comes out to the left everett leaves the game in motion comes richardson first down play ball got there in time the forward progress will be marked about two yards shy of a first down at the 28-yard line where among others nelson jones and mark smith make the stop 
This is a good call because it's a first down play and expect a run. Nice little down and out by Snell. He turns. The only thing different here that I would recommend is start moving forward, young man, because when you do that, whoo, it hurts all those guys get you. Brian Gay couldn't quite get there in time. Now, we should point out, for those of you who missed the early stages of the game, that strong safety Chris Johnson's Winstead, a defensive tackle, checks in for NC State. Second down, 11. Boy, Everett's covered a lot of yards in motion. Great fake. And very close to a first down is Donald Wayne Snell. Boy, that looked like a pitch, didn't it? You watch the quarterback fake that toss play, and then come right back to Snell. The reason he fakes that play is to get everybody running to the left so he can throw the ball back to his left. And Snell makes a good play. And now, the difference this time in Snell is that he goes forward and delivers a blow. Remember in the first part of the ball game, he took that hit. He learned something. Number one, a bowl game. First and 10, Virginia Tech 35. Everett in motion on first down. Chapman, he has his receiver there, and it's Snell. Donald Wayne Snell. Now, we want to tell you about the injured players. Grady Harris of North Carolina State left the field limping heavily. Meanwhile, we spotted then a bit later that Rodney Varney, backup tight end.